Let's get started with this story. We, we were initially going to start with Jesse, but I think this is actually more important context as we get into Black Lives Matter. From the Daily Mail, quote, we are not going to surrender to Black Lives Matter. New York City Mayor-elect Eric Adams warns BLM leader Hawk Newsom not to, quote, burn down the Big Apple and refuses to back down on reinstating plainclothes NYPD units. It's kind of crazy when we're at a point where a, the mayor of, you know, the biggest city in the country is warning a group of leftist activists not to burn the city down. Isn't it, isn't it, sh- sh- shouldn't there be a little bit more than that? Like, hey, you threatened to burn the city down. Like, that's a terroristic threat. You yeah. guys literally did smash windows and destroy things a year ago. Maybe those threats are not idle threats and there should be some legal ramifications. You know, maybe a slap on the wrist. Maybe they at least need to come out and be like, don't threaten to burn it all down. But how many times yeah. do they say this stuff? Yeah, you know, they say it a lot. BLM says this a lot. And Hawk Newsom also is much further to the left, I think, even than the national BLM mm. groups. And he's spoken out against the national BLM groups. He's one of the ones who was uh, bringing suit against them for having fundraised all that money and like nobody saw any of that money mm. except, you know, Patrice Cullors got a bunch of new houses or something. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Well, but well, it was for her family. It was for her, sure. She's doing very well for herself. She's yeah, I mean, <laughs> every family needs a nice little house in Topanga Canyon, right? A, a couple oh, of them, least. you know. Couple, not just one, yeah. a few, you know. Half but, a couple were like half yeah. a million dollar houses. Yeah. But the th- yeah, so the thing about Newsom is um, he's very vigilant about that. I talked, I actually talked with him after the um, there was like a whole incident uptown with some tourists who were in town and they didn't want to show their vax cards or something like that. And they ended up getting kicked out of car mines. And then when I talked to him about it, he was like, actually, the hostess was racist and right. used racist language and this whole thing. Um, but yeah, he's very vigilant against the plainclothes cops. And I want the plainclothes cops back on the street. Pulling them off the street has been a disaster. That's how the police know what's going on in the community. You know, they're there on the street. They're involved. The, the, the context is that uh, when they defunded the police in New York, they got rid of the anti-crime unit. That's right. And then crimes skyrocketed. skyrocketed. Murders, okay. muggings, well, violent and crime. Who's getting killed? Like, black kids are getting killed. Yeah. That's what's happening. Black people are getting murdered. So, you know, people were shocked. The, the super lefties that I know were shocked when Eric Adams won the Democratic primary, which essentially meant that he was going to be mayor, which he is going to be. Uh, they all wanted Maya Wiley and these far left progressives. But the black communities, the conservative communities, the Latino communities all wanted Adams. And it's pretty clear why they wanted him. You know, he was a, he's from the city. He's, he was a D.A. Um, he was a cop. Yeah. And he was he's definitely going to crack down on crime in these neighborhoods and save black lives. Like, that's what he's going to do. I'm 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 glad to hear it. You know, maybe I don't agree with this guy. I'm not a fan of what the Democrats have become. But if people are expressing their support for a cop, mm-hmm. as much as I can say, you know, there's a lot of things that, that I don't like about the NYPD, the CPD, regular people saying, you know what we hate more? We hate you burning down our, our, our businesses and throwing rocks through our windows. Right. This is a pie in the face to the extremist woke left. Yeah. 